Local news for Monday the 8th of March. With the alert level change yesterday morning, event organisers are excited about the upcoming weekend. Around 2,000 people are expected for the annual Harvest Wine and Food Festival at the Cliffs, while thousands are expected for the annual Castle Point Beach races to be held on Saturday. The National multi Breed Shearing Circuit Finals, which look to have become a non-event this year amid the cancellation of the Golden Shears, will now be held at the New Zealand Shears in Tikawiti next month. Parata Abraham, the best of the locals, sitting fourth equal on points behind Nathan Stratford, Gavin Much and Angus Moore. And the Wadadapa Community Kitchen has received a $2,750 boost from Masterton District Councillor's donations. Just as the COVID-19 lockdown hit last year, Councillor Brink here proposed that the $5 councillors contributed per week uh, towards uh, food at their meeting days should go to charity, a move that drew unanimous support. The Community Kitchen has provided nearly 3,000 meals in the last six months. Gear says he sincerely hopes the contributions continue, saying a small amount can make a big difference. And Greytown have beaten Lansdowne in the latest round of the Bedwell Cup, winning by two wickets. Hayden Ray top scoring for Greytown with 46, while Sugathan took three for 18 with the ball. For local news and sport, Kelda, I'm Brent Gear.